Well, immediately after the avalanche, Parks Canada crews made multiple attempts to search for the climbers, starting with aerial searches. But each time, weather and avalanche conditions prevented ground searches and recovery efforts. It finally cleared up Sunday, allowing the visitor safety team to search the area. This avalanche dog and handler were the ones to locate the bodies of the three climbers. Parks Canada officials say Spokane native Jess Ross Kelly and Australian climbers David Lama and Hans Jorgauer attempted climbing the east face of House Peak in Banff National Park. They started the morning of Tuesday, April 16th and summited at noon. Ross Kelly's family shared this photo, which they believe captures the joyful moment after the three reached that summit. They began their descent the same day. Visitor safety manager Brian Webster says the avalanche conditions the day of their climb was listed as spring conditions, meaning the hazard could change throughout the day depending on the elevation and time of day. What is important to note here is that the avalanche conditions changed significantly after the day of the accident. Incident Commander Shelley Humphrey says none of the climbers wore an avalanche transceiver and added challenge to locating them in the debris. We understand in the climbing community um, that this happens. In this particular case, the outcome would not have changed, but it would have expedited uh, the search and, and the recovery. Visitor safety specialists placed an avalanche transceiver in the area of the debris so they could continue their search when conditions improved. A specially trained avalanche dog and her handler eventually located and recovered Ross Kelly and the two other climbers. Ross Kelly's wife Allison shared a statement which read in part, We are deeply saddened by the loss of our loved one and his teammates, but we are grateful to have received closure. Parks Canada says this winter it had six avalanche fatalities and four separate incidents. That's including the recent accident where the three climbers were killed. They say it's not typical for them to have three climbers die in one single avalanche accident. In the newsroom, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.